Hello, and welcome to Reddit Rewind, where we go over Reddit's most ridiculous stories. So our first story is titled, Scumbag Dog Owner. Years ago, a friend of mine got a puppy because his new girlfriend loves dogs. It was a golden retriever, so a generally easy to train dog that's food motivated and a pretty fast learner. He asked if I could watch his dog for a weekend, give or take a few days because he didn't know how long he'd be out of town visiting his ailing grandmother. I agreed and asked about the type of food the dog eats. Table scraps. I asked what kind of dog food. Table scraps. He eats what I eat. This jerk doesn't even have dog food. He says he feeds the dog canned army surplus chili routinely because he gets 10 cans for a dollar. I tell him, he's going to kill this dog and try to explain about the dog's diet. He agrees to get the dog on regular dog food, but he also sounds like he's not going to actually do it. The day comes and he drops off this huge, fat-ass puppy that farts like crazy and makes this weird hork, hork noise when it breathes too hard. I basically rip my friend a new a-hole for being a crap dog owner. He leaves and says, <laughs> I'm going to get him on good dog food. We're going to walk him when girlfriend moves in. And blah, 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 trailed off into some BS about being busy with work and depression and other excuses. He later texts me and says the dog isn't house trained. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, jerk face. I figured that out when the dog took a massive chili stank dump in my bedroom and pissed all over the kitchen. He then asked me to get the dog some toys, start the dog on a pretty expensive dog food, Beneful IIRC, because he did some research and it's the best, BS, he saw a commercial on TV, and try to house train him before he comes home. I think this a-hole planned to have me train his dog and pay for toys because he's lazy as heck and cheap. Well, while he's gone, Friend's new girlfriend dumps his ass because he's stupid enough to post check-ins on Facebook and make comments about having a great time reconnecting with an ex in his hometown. Might not have been too bad until he said something like, A couple more beers, and I think she'll be ripe for the picking. Some dumb crap about planning to bang her. And now I'm even more pissed because I was told he was going to visit his grandmother and help her pack and move into some assisted living place. He's checking in at places 2,000 miles from where his grandmother lives. So the girlfriend dumps him, and now the girlfriend isn't around. He has no need for a dog. The weekend, give or take a few days, end up being two years. After two weeks, I called, no answer. Texted asking when he was coming home, no answer. He basically ignored me for two years. Two years later, the phone rings. It's him, acting like we're best friends. It's like we'd been buddy-buddy and nothing ever happened. It's an awkward conversation, like he's talking just to talk and doesn't really give a crap about catching up. I figure he's going to ask for the dog. Nope. We end the conversation, and that's it. He calls a few more times over the next couple of weeks, and I think maybe he's really trying to connect. By now, I really don't even want to, though. On the fourth or fifth call, it happens. He tells me he wants his dog back. Then comes a few waves of choosing beggar level BS. I get upset about the grandma lies, ignoring me, ditching the dog, and just being an all around jerk. I flat out tell him to drop dead. He gives me this sob story about how I kept the dog from him for two years, and now all he wants is a chance to <laughs> cuddle some fluffy love. I tell him to drop dead again. He tells me his girlfriend loves dogs, and I'm denying her a chance to have fluffy love. I assume fluffy love is what his dim-witted girlfriend called pet ownership. I tell him to drop dead. Finally, he pulled out the old, <laughs> It's really for the baby. No kid should grow up without having a pet. Would you really deny a child the chance to grow up with a loving dog? I tell him I don't give a crap, and he's not getting the dog, so he can destroy him with canned chili and neglect. He demands $1,500, saying that's what he paid. I know he paid $800. I tell him he owes me $3,600 for a hip operation for the dog, 
as well as general vet visits, shots, toys, food, collars, leashes, grooming, etc. He tells me to F off and says he's going to sue. Fine, go ahead. Not surprisingly, I never hear anything else about it. I'm sure this fits in the r slash am I a total piece of crap as well as r slash trashy, but I thought it would fit here too, since he expected all this free work training, paying for toys, paying for food, exercising to get the dog back in shape, etc. I'm proud to report that that friend hasn't made contact in several years. Buddy is almost 10 years old, in good shape, and super happy. Edit corrected age. Time flies. Yeah, so guys, this is a story about how someone can just be a real jerk and neglect an animal and just use it to try to mask, I guess, problems in his relationship and use it as kind of a crutch to get more fluffy love with his girlfriend at the time. And it was basically a crutch. And this guy's a total jerk for mistreating and using a dog like that. And not only feeding it chili, so it has horrible dog diarrhea everywhere, but then dumping on his friend and have him do all the hard work and expecting it two years later. It's, this is, this guy's a real piece of work. So in the comments section, I found uh, two posts that I enjoyed. So here we go. This is one of those events where I'd say everything happens for a reason. You were friends with this crap person because Buddy needed you in his life to get your a-hole friend out of your life and his life. Win-win for you and Buddy. Yeah, um, this was a win-win. You got rid of a jerk friend who, through his actions, you really saw how horrible he was. And in return, you got a great dog. So in my book, I think both of you won. Of course, you have to be a dog lover to see it that way. If you didn't like dogs, then yeah, this would suck. But uh, yeah, win-win. And the next comment, what a piece of work. My mom kind of did the same to me. She dumped her two cats on me, then one passed away, feline diabetes, and 5K worth of work later. She wants his ashes. Sorry, no, but your grumpy old man is still alive and kicking at the age 15, and you're not getting him back either. Yeah, I guess a lot of people do dump their pets off on either friends or loved ones as soon as they become a bit inconvenient. And then when it comes to the sentimental type stuff or only remembering the good parts about having a pet, they then, uh, you know, want to capitalize on that. So no, uh, owning a pet has its good sides and its bad sides, and you need to be a responsible pet owner and deal with both sides of the coin. All right, guys, that's it for our stories today. Please leave a comment down below and tell us what you thought. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.